Everyone, welcome in the power play with CJ. I just want to focus in on the possibility of Mike Babcock coming to the Boston Bruins and, you know, the dynamics of the, the offseason, that, you know, change that could happen here in Boston. I I thought they would have had, Detroit would have had Babcock signed before Christmas time. Obviously, that hasn't been the case, and I still think somehow, some way, he resigns in Detroit, and, you know, everyone's blown out of proportion. I mean, why would you want to leave a situation like that where, you know, you've got a great ownership group, a great management staff, they draft well, they develop well. Um, you know, they're one of the best run organizations from top to bottom in all of, not only hockey, but sports in general. I mean, they've done a fantastic job. And, um, you know, I just think if I'm a coach, that's, that's where I want to be, that's where I want to do my job, because... Again, that's a fantastic team, fantastic franchise, great hockey market, amazing fan base, you know, really just a, a perfect storm. But, you know, if Babcock doesn't want to leave, you know, I believe the Boston Bruins would be willing to... Uh, it's a, If Jeremy Jacobs wasn't around, and say, oh my God, they'll fire Claude and then bring in Babcock. But, you know, Claude Julian's contract isn't, uh, you know, isn't going away anytime soon. And I believe they just extended him, um, yeah, in November. So um, I, he's probably under contract. I just said multi-year. I mean, I'm assuming for, you know, three to four years. I mean, let's just say it's 2018 when it expires. Would you want to eat that and then have to pay Babcock, who could make 4 to $5 million in the open market, that kind of money? Jeremy Jacobs doesn't. That's how it works. But, you know, it's a nice possibility. I think if they're... Gonna part ways with anyone except Peter Shirelli. Um, I just think the lack of action over the last year, going back to last year's deadline when they had the pieces to go out and get a Thomas Vanek or you know Matt Molson, a guy like that, you know maybe improve the defense with the, with a the trade. Um, they didn't do it, and then you know they're out the second round to the Habs. It's like well, well, what now? So that's you know then not taking care of business early in the summer. Allowing, you know, putting yourself in a situation where you had to trade away Johnny Boychuk um, at the end of the summer and couldn't, make, you know, keep a Ginla. You know, I, I, it's good, even though Chris Kelly hasn't played well, I still would, um, it, I'd still look in, would look at an Amnesty in the summer to open up the cap space to, uh, to get a deal done with, uh, a Ginla. But, you know, that's the handle there at this point, so. Um, at first, I think it'd be hysterical if Brian Burke came out and was general manager of the Bruins, but uh, I don't know. You know, we'll see what happens. Um, I, I think if they do fire Shirley, they'll promote someone from the inside, whether it's Sweeney here or whoever. Um, that's just the way it goes. So, Mike Babcock will not be the coach of the Boston Bruins next year, bottom line. Uh, Claude's half for better or for worse, and, uh, you know, for all Claude's faults, you can't argue with the fact that They've been a winning franchise, you know, winning team, one of the better teams in the NHL since he took over in 2007. You know, they're on a playoff streak. It's going to go in eight years this year. So, you know, I think they're, as much as people malign Claude in Boston, and I think he's, a lot of that, some of it's been warranted. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't be, it's not that I want to replace him with Babcock, it's just looking at the financial implications and what you're going to have to pay versus, you know, return on investment and all that. Um, not exactly the best situation, so, you know, we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's all I got some sort of the power play with CJ on the uh, possibility of Mike Babcock coming to the Boston Bruins. Stay tuned for episode to the season and beyond. Later, guys.